hallowed turf of Anfield has seen some pretty special scenes in its 126 years of housing Liverpool Football Club. But the theatre and sheer entertainment value of what Jurgen Klopp, Mohamed Salah and a simply rampant red side dished up, on what will quickly become another famous European night, was on another level. The Liverpool fans are certainly used to the extraordinary on European nights at Anfield. But they have never experienced anything quite like this, wrote Sky Sports analyst Adam Bate while the Guardian's Barney Rene was equally incredulous to the action he had just witnessed, but this was something new. Liverpool and Salah did not just accelerate away from Roma, they eviscerated them. All the build-up to the highly anticipated semi-final clash which ended in an astounding 5-2 mouling in favor of the Premier League giants, centered around Mohamed Salah. Roughly ten months ago, the Egyptians whopped the crimson of his Roma for the red of Liverpool and enjoining forces with Klopp quickly and magnificently transformed into one of the world's most devastating attackers. At Anfield, he termed in one of his best performances, and considering the stage, the history, the pressure and the expectation, it is quite possibly the best in a number of years. Rane suggested that there may be a more breathtakingly brilliant attacking performance in Europe this season but, given the game and the stage, there has not been one yet. While Paul Hayward of the Telegraph paid the prolific wide man the ultimate compliment for any Liverpool player, by adding that you could feel the player of the year easing into the company of Kenny Dalglish and Steven Gerrard. Salah's two goals and two assists showcased the completeness of this game and prompted Gerard himself to label the recently awarded Premier League top performer without a shadow of a doubt, he's the best player on the planet right now. According to the Telegraph's Sam Wallace, the belief seems to prevail that when Salah is on the pitch then anything is possible. And it's really hard to argue otherwise. His opening strike was almost as outrageously simple as that he decided to score. Sada picked up the ball with nothing happening and took it upon himself to slot it in the top corner past a stopper, Alisson Becker, lauded as the Messi of goalkeepers. Speaking of Messi, it's hard to argue that the Reds magician isn't surging ahead of the Argentine and closing on Cristiano Ronaldo in the race for the Ballon d'Or. If Mo Salah keeps on doing what he's doing, he's not only in the conversation, he's got a very good chance of winning it said former Arsenal striker Ian Wright on the debate. With his brace against the Surrey side, Salah moved ahead of Ronaldo to assume top spot in the European goal-scoring rankings, albeit with the ridiculously informed Portuguese superstar due to line up in a semi-final of his own against Bayern Munich on Thursday morning. In this form it would have taken half a dozen Roman centurions to stop him, wrote Hayward and the inability of even his ex-teammates to stop him was a telling indication of just how rampant Nick he's in. Indeed, at times it was like watching a second-rate matador at constant risk of being gored, Bates said of the stunning shellacking that was largely dictated by the winger who, alongside his attacking lieutenants Roberto Firmino and Sadio Mane, completely dismantled a side who had shut out the likes of Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez two weeks earlier. The Reds carry an equally grandiose lead as the Catalans brought into their now infamous capitulation at the Stadio Olimpico, however BBC head football writer Phil McNulty expects their visit to go differently. Liverpool, however, have surely come too far and possess too much weaponry to fall foul of the same fate as Barcelona, he wrote with the expectation that Klopp's side will be lining up against one of Real and Bayern in Kiev on May 27. And we were almost to the point where it would take a brave individual to bet against them getting the job done, even against such colossuses of European football. Behemoths of the game they may be, and they will certainly not walk blindfold into battle like the Romans, but they will feel vulnerable in the face of the most prolific and devastating attacking trio in Europe, Wade and Sarah Winterburn of Football 365. Liverpool are just 180 minutes from lifting the Champions League for a sixth time. Let that sink in.